Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the last two videos we're gonna record um, from vacation. Uh, we are ready to go home tomorrow. Actually, by the time these videos release, we should be on our way home to Winnipeg, so that's nice. Um, so first video that I'm gonna do is pretty much covering, or you know, whatever order we release them in, um, is going to be Carter's walking very loudly down the hallway. Like an absolute hey, just just utter twit. So, oh. <laughs> whoops, get sitting over there. First video we're gonna do probably would be on Riley Nash. So Riley Nash is a Jeff. Gonna be honest, in my head, I don't know why, but I forget. Like in my head, I, I had him that he was a defense. But now, now technically, I'm not wrong because he only offers defensive statistics, really. But yeah, I don't hate this signing actually. Um, so just for a little bit of uh, like comparison here, uh, we've lost pretty much our actually not even pretty much our entire fourth line, um, and so far one third of our set third line, um, and possibly more depending on if Kopp goes to arbitration, which is a bit annoying. But oh god. Um, so yeah, what I expect is Riley Nash is the bar is not high. Um, he doesn't, he's not an offensive forward at all. He's like a 9% in terms of advanced analytics, but he's also a 99% in defensive analytics, meaning that he's a, a very safe forward to have. Um, he's a forward that you would like to have on penalty kills, which we need because not a lot of our forwards can uh, defend in any way, shape or form. Um, he is also very good on late game situations to protect a lead. Um, that's pretty much about it though. His career high for season points is I believe around 41. And that's one year with Boston. And um, he has only eight, about eight career points in the playoffs uh, through 36 games. Um, so he played mostly, he played on Boston for a while. He played on Carolina actually in his earliest game days. He then went to Boston, he then played on Columbus for a, little, for a time, and then got traded to Toronto just pretty much just for their, about just a few of their playoff games. Um, now, he's, do you see him being on the taxi squad a bit? Or? I see him possibly doing a little bit of taxi squad work, but I mostly just see him on the fourth line as a controlled effort. And it's really tough because I'm so mixed on this because people seem to be thinking, well, we just need a bunch of veterans on the fourth line. But I would argue that depending on how you're rolling the lines, you can actually get away with having some younger guys there. For example, I'm pretty sure Toninato and Harkins are the guys that they're eyeing to be playing the fourth line position, which makes sense. It's okay. Um, those guys work will probably work better with less, um, especially Harkins, who really needs a pick-me-up. I actually would like to see Perfetti make the team next year um, because there's obviously that open spot. What you can do is you can slide down Stastny to third line on the wing uh, with Lowry and Kopp, and then you could pretty much just run Perfetti up on the second line with, if I know how our team runs it, it'll be with Ehlers and PLD, which is practically our first line when we think about how they play. But still. Um, in all actuality, it's one year, 750, I believe. Might be actually 950 uh, that we're paying right now. I'm pretty sure it's 950. Okay, so not a lot. And it's one year, um, and I don't hate it at all, honestly. Um, there's a lot worse deals we could have signed out there. Ugh, it's getting late. Uh, for depth on the fourth line, and while it may not be any Matthew Perot, um, it's a good pickup. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to tell me your guys' thoughts on this because he's not, he doesn't have the biggest name value. So I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel, especially if you want some more Winnipeg Jets content, or at least if you are a rival of Winnipeg Jets and want to watch me react to them losing because there's plenty of videos of that. Don't forget to leave a like as well, share it around, and yeah, we'll see you next time. <laughs>